Hey, I hope you're having a great day as always. Yesterday morning, I released a video on the uh, benefits of THC and Tourette syndrome, treating patients with Tourette syndrome. Now, are there are a couple of comments that I really want to address. First of all, I really appreciate every single comment. Thank you so much for commenting. Um, and there are a couple of comments saying that I need to do more research. Now, I have done a lot of research on this topic in particular. And look, to double check it, because I wanted to be really crystal clear and I wanted clean, clear information, not uh, spreading any misinformation. I double checked that research, all of which I am putting in the description of this video. So if you disagree with anything I say, please, please read the description of this video. Click the links of the websites that I am citing and read them for yourself. And please let me know, have I said anything wrong? I always like to uh, ask people to, Whip me in line, keep me in check, because I'm only human. But I am going to reiterate exactly what I said in the previous video. Maybe, maybe I didn't use the correct language or the correct wording to get the message across. THC, cannabis, both the CBD and THC, has been used to treat patients with Tourette's. Now, in the case studies, there aren't enough patients, and the case studies have not been conducted long enough to provide conclusive evidence that it is 100% successful. There is a high percentage, a high percent success rate, but it's not 100%. There is still a percentage of some of the patients experiencing psychiatric problems, increasing in anxiety, increasing the other comorbidity symptoms, for example, obsessive compulsive disorder, and increasing panic attacks. Now, although it is a higher success rate for reducing the tics than increasing the symptoms of the other comorbidities, that is still a side effect. And I wanted to make that crystal clear. Now, I am not one to be political. I am not pushing a political agenda and I'm not jumping on either side of the fence of legalizing drugs. That's not what this YouTube channel is about. I am purely talking about medication of THC, and CBD, which by the way, THC has a higher success rate than CBD does. The best results were seen in patients who inhaled uh, the THC cannabinoid. Now I'm very, I'm trying very hard to get those correct words in because they are confusing because one CBD and one is THC, but the active ingredient of THC is statistically reported as the higher success rate for treating people with Tourette syndrome. Now, because these case studies aren't done for long periods of time, they've only done for about the 12 week, 70 day mark, there are, the reason why the evidence is still inconclusive is because there needs to be more long-term studies done with more patients involved in the study. Still to this day, case studies are being conducted and still to this day it is used to treat patients with Tourette's with a high success rate but there is still a percentage where it is not working for people with Tourette syndrome so I want to make that really crystal clear and I am going to put all of the articles that I've read today and in the previous two years researching Tourette syndrome in the description of this video. Now, I want to reiterate what I said about uh, uh, being cautious if you're neurodiverse when it comes to self-medicating. And what I mean by self-medicating is not using a prescription substance. Uh, I'm talking about self-medicating with an illicit substance or alcohol, right? Alcohol is legal, yet it has proven to be extremely destructive. If you are neurodiverse, ADHD in particular, because you have a thrill-seeking drive and your brain seeks high dopamine, high thrill, high risk, you're more likely to self-medicate. You're also more likely to binge. I am saying, be careful if you go down that route because the way your brain is wired, you're more likely to engage in dangerous behavior doesn't matter what the substance is, legal or illegal, it doesn't matter. You are likely to engage in binging. You're also likely to engage in self-medicating. 
in the dangerous way. The reason why I'm saying self-medicating is dangerous because you're doing it behind closed doors. You're doing it in secret and you're not doing it with a medical professional supporting you and giving you the right information and the right advice and monitoring your behavior. That can be extremely destructive and very, very dangerous. So I stand by my messaging in my previous video. I'm just saying, just beware. And yes, I absolutely stand by my statement of don't do drugs, absolutely. A lot of children watch this, a lot of young adolescents and impressionable teenagers watch my channel. So I absolutely 100% say drugs are dangerous. I am not pushing a political agenda. That is not my intention. So that's what I'm telling you. And it's not the wrong thing to say. So listen, if you really want to have an opinion on this, I really want to give you a voice and I want to be able to respond and read it. So absolutely, I'd love to hear your personal experiences because a lot of people reached out saying the positive benefits and the side effects that uh, their cannabis and THC based medication has actually helped them with their Tourette's. That is absolutely amazing. If that works for you, that's awesome. I'm really happy for you and please continue doing it. Whatever works for you, great. I'm always a supporter on whatever works, keep doing it. Whatever makes your life easier living with Tourette's, and if it works for you, go for it. I'd love to hear your comments. Please write a comment, but I really, really recommend and strongly ask that you read the links to the articles that I've put in the description of this video. As always, I hope you have a great day.